Okay, so a couple of questions I had when buying a generator. Uh, number one, I wanted something quiet. Um, I have a larger generator, but it's too noisy to use. This is a Westinghouse 2200 uh, watt, uh, 1800 continuous. I actually just have it in the back of my Ford F-150. If it's nice back there, I can uh, run it. It's quiet enough, easy start. So I want to make sure that I could do a sump pump with it. I could run my furnace with it. I could do power tools with it. So I'm testing it uh, with a sump pump with my son, Michael. So it's pretty easy to start, turn it to run mode. I had it on earlier, so I don't need to choke it. Turn that, probably I'll start with one pool here. Did. So we're up and running. Here we go in. Hi, Michael. What we're gonna do is um, I have a third horsepower sump pump in this bucket. We're gonna fill it up. It says a uh, third horsepower regular sump pump. Um, Michael, okay, do you wanna hold the end of the hose? So I have a regular garden hose attached. To, we'll plug it in the generator. And all we're gonna do is see how the generator runs with a little bit of load on it, running a third uh, horsepower sump pump. So here we go. Are you ready, Michael? Okay. So we're gonna plug it in here. And you'll hear it kick in a little bit when it starts pumping. Whoa, that was quick. Had plenty of power for that. Didn't take anything for it. Didn't even seem to slow it down at all. Um, this also does have an eco mode, uh, so it reduces the motor speed to the minimum you need for full speed. Uh, but it's quiet, quite powerful. Uh, I don't know, overall I'd give it a, uh, probably a 9 out of 10. Uh, the only thing to make it better is maybe a little higher wattage, but uh, for what I need it for, I think this is plenty. Uh, easy shutdown. Nice setup.